Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Megan Remedy, holistic nutritionist, and in today's video we are going to talk about balance. Balance is a very important part of holistic nutrition. It's essentially the definition of holistic. You have to keep everything that has an impact on your health balanced. throughout different cultures, throughout the history of health, both ancient and modern, we see that balance is the most important thing. I think that the discussion of balance is greatly overlooked from the discussion of health on YouTube generally. Um, you see a lot of extremes from one thing to another and I rarely hear people talk about balance. So I just wanted to talk about balance today in this video and give an overview. There's many categories where we can observe balance where it's related to health. So in ancient medicine like Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, we also can observe this in the pH scale. In the body's default of always trying to maintain homeostasis. Too much water you can die from, too little water you can also die from balance. Certain herbs have toxicity levels but they can also at the right dosage be a medicine. In Chinese medicine its basic concept is that a vital energy force flows through the body which is called qi and any disturbance to this qi can result in disease. This balance is most commonly thought to come from the opposite forces that make up qi. These forces are called yin and yang. References to yin and yang date back to 700 BCE where it was recorded in the Book of Changes. This book discusses the dynamic balance of opposites. Chinese medicine is very holistic. They recommend a number of modalities to rebalance your qi depending on what's going on with your imbalance. So things like obviously diet changes and herbal remedies, but also acupuncture, massage, and lifestyle changes. There's four key principles of traditional Chinese medicine or otherwise known as TCM. Number one, your body is an integrated whole, including your mind, emotions, spirit, and your physical body that is powered by life force energy. Number two, you are completely connected to nature. Changes in nature are always reflected in your body. Seasons, geographical location, time of day, age, and genetics. Number three, you are born with a natural self-healing ability. Nature has a regenerative capacity and so do you. Number four, prevention is the best cure. Your body is continuously revealing signs about the state of your health. There are also elements in TCM, five elements. Wood, water, fire, metal, and earth. All of these elements relate back to an organ system. Liver to gallbladder to wood, kidney to urinary organs to water, heart to small intestine to fire, lung to large intestine to metal, and spleen to stomach to earth. In Ayurveda, there are also five elements. Now, there are a lot of similarities between Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine. The five elements in Ayurveda are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. There are also tridoshas or constitutions. Vata is air and space. Pita is fire and water. And Kapha is water and earth. Each dosha has attributes and elements attached. The goal of Ayurveda is to restore balance based on your personal constitution and symptoms that you're experiencing through understanding the earth, through understanding the components of food, from understanding how all of those affect your body. These ancient modalities teach you how to restore balance in your body and there is a reason why they have survived so many years is because they do work. So my approach to holistic medicine is to study a lot of these 
ancient healing practices and incorporate them in a holistic way. Bringing balance into your life and into your health regimen is probably the most important thing that you can do. Whenever I see people going on the extreme is when they create imbalances and so in trying to heal themselves they actually create imbalances. At the moment someone going on a vegan diet may bring them back into balance because they have been out of balance. Maybe they were eating um, too much processed food, animal products and things like that and so they feel a difference when they come onto the vegan diet and then they do the vegan diet for too long and so they want to do the next which is carnivore and they feel that that helps them because it is bringing them back into balance because you're swinging the pendulum over here then the pendulum goes too far and they need to bring themselves back to balance so this is what i've seen with many people if you're not in that position where you don't feel like you need balance then you don't have to worry about it but the idea is to listen to your body and know what is going to bring you back into balance that's the most important thing and that is my passion is to figure out what's going to bring other people back into balance and this isn't something to stress about because this is something that you're going to have to pay attention to on a daily basis for the rest of your life. You're always going to have to bring yourself back into balance. Even myself as a practitioner, I'm always trying to bring myself back into balance when, you know, maybe one day I had a little bit too of too much food that I wasn't supposed to have. Maybe I haven't been exercising as much as I should. Maybe I've been exercising too much. I'm always trying to bring myself back into balance and check in with my body and make sure that I'm listening to what I need to be in balance. I wish more people would get this simple concept of balance before it's too late. You know, now that I'm posting videos again, I'm getting recommendations on my channel for certain videos or certain people related to health topics and I'm seeing that, you know, some people, they did colonics every day of their life and now they are getting their colon removed. Perfect example is someone in the vegan community who was doing colonics every day of their life and now they have to get their colon removed. It's important to note that yes, colonics can be helpful, but overdoing colonics can do damage to your digestive system because you have bowel flora. So if you're constantly forcing water up there pushing the flora from your bowel into your small intestine that's going to create problems one number two you're flushing away all of the bowel flora and if you don't replenish it because i never hear this person or these people talk about probiotics if you're never replenishing it then you're creating more of a disease state for your bowels if you haven't heard of a fecal transplant it's when they take the fecal matter from a healthy person and they transplant it into your colon. People are getting results from it because good bacteria go a long way as far as helping your health. So the reason I bring that up is because it's a perfect example that too much of something can throw you off balance and can cause disease. So it's very important to make sure that you're not doing too much of a good thing so that you don't throw yourself off balance. If you always remain in balance, you will remain healthy. Now to know how to keep yourself in balance and what to keep yourself in balance takes a little bit of studying because you have to understand the warming and cooling properties of food, the warming and cooling properties of certain activities of your own body's constitution. Warming and cooling, acid and alkaline, all of these things require balance. Another example is that your stomach is very acidic for the purpose that it can digest food, assimilate the nutrition, circulate it to the rest of your body so that the rest of your body can be at the proper pH it's supposed to be at, which is typically neutral to acidic depending on the area of the body. But if your stomach is not that acidic, then the pH will not be the proper pH throughout the body. It will start to be inviting disease because you're not digesting your nutrition. Let me know if you would like me to do more videos expanding on these concepts of balance because they are so important. So that's it for today, just a short video. 
make sure you share this with somebody that it could help subscribe if you haven't hit that like button if you liked the video and i'll see you guys in the next video happy healing